In the name of the Blessed Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We have before us today one of these great passages from the Gospel of John. And as it is, there are a number of popular versions. Many might know the opening of this Gospel passage, even if they've not read the Gospel of John very often. The translation we have today, Jesus says, In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. Many years ago, after reading this gospel, at the back of the church, after the service, a very kind, older, much older woman came up to me and said, I wish you would read that the old way. I've been living in some pretty rotten houses my whole life. I'm looking forward to the mansion that is mentioned in the previous translation, which goes, in my father's house, there are many mansions. The truth of the matter is that one of the best ways to translate this passage from John's gospel is abiding place in my father's house there are many abiding places and i go and prepare a place for you it might be true as a pastor that one of the encounters i often have in speaking with people about their spiritual journeys of life is no matter where I go, this recurring theme that somehow the difficulty in having a relationship with God is grounded in this idea that somehow I'm really not good enough to have a relationship with God. I'm really not worthy enough. I haven't been such a great person or I can't do all those things. Well, what a blessing to hear these words today, this assurance that no matter who you are or where you are or what you have, or what you don't have, or what type of spiritual or prayer life you have or do not have, here is the assurance from God. There is, without a doubt, an abiding place in the heart of God for you. 